Thank you. Uh, my name is Eric, and I'm here to tell you about my book, A Voice is More. It is the second in um, my series of young adult novels about an Orthodox Christian uh, summer camp in the mountains. In this book, Helene, a 16-year-old counselor um, at the summer camp, and her elementary school, uh, or is a 16-year-old counselor at the summer camp, and her campers, elementary school age, are giving her uh, just about every um, possible challenge imaginable. Just when she thinks things can't get any worse, uh, she has to leave camp to rush to the hospital because her mother, who is expecting um, her second child, uh, goes into labor four months early. In the emergency room, the doctors tell Helene about preeclampsia, a stroke, uh, extreme prematurity, and a recommendation for palliative care only. When she figures out what that means, she realizes she has to fight for her mother and her new brother. Um, she's astonished to find out that life could be so cheap as that her uh, brother could be called not worth trying to save. She's all on her own, faced with having to do an emergency baptism um, herself on her brother, a church requirement if he's going to get an orthodox funeral, if his life lasts as long as the doctors predicted. The job of big sister is going to be the hardest one Helene has ever had. My first book in this series uh, was Voice in the Storm, in which Helene was the shy, happy, and science-loving 13-year-old camper who saved camp twice because she could observe and understand the weather better than the adults did. Her friends, um, who helped her through those amazing adventures, um, will be in this book again, adding warmth and humor to a traumatic trip through the neonatal intensive care unit. <coughs> This uh, novel was inspired uh, by real events. This picture is of our son, born at 22 weeks and six days gestation. Um, and this article is about the ethics of when to try um, to um, save um, uh, premature, extremely premature in infants. At that time, the hospital had a line in the sand of 23 weeks and zero days of gestation for when resuscitation was alive, or allowed, I'm sorry. That has changed partly uh, because of uh, our advocacy work on the topic. I wrote letters to the hospital's ethics committee. I, uh, we also uh, pitched this um, idea, a story idea, to the Seattle Times, and uh, they sent a reporter, Jonelle Alicia, to come and write the, this article was very good. And also we published a, um, an article on the ethics of resuscitation in the Journal of Pediatrics. It was my dream to turn this into a non-fiction book, but as I've learned over the past eight years, memoirs are darn hard to sell. Fiction sells better, or at least that's what I'm hoping with this book pitch. <laughs> Uh, these books have been independently published, a choice which gives me the opportunity to be as specific as I like about the religious principles that the characters are um, working out in their own lives. Maybe you've seen books about the true meaning of Christmas and wondered uh, how they could get Christian uh, teachings uh, so wrong. I've decided to make my characters think about the true meaning of Easter and the true meaning of Pentecost. The first one saves our lives, and the second one sustains it. And quoting a verse or two from the Bible is not going to be sufficient uh, for what these characters are going to do. Being independently published, I can do that, and I want to make that a selling point. I encourage you to think about doing the same. There are two more books planned on the series, one about the characters making a trip to Ukraine, and another about a bike trip gone awry. Um, if on both of those uh, projects, I'm looking for beta readers and advanced uh, copy readers. So if um, that, that means you get to read it for free, and you get to influence uh, the book that makes it to the market. And you uh, get to tell me which parts engaged you and which parts uh, confused you. 
And if that interests you, you can get in touch with me. I'll be uh, here uh, signing books, 